Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps down about 10 points right now. NASDAQ 100 off 84. The Dow barely in the positive. Let's jump over to our man, Steve Rhodes. Folks, every trading day, you can listen to Steve's outstanding program, The Trader's Edge, live 11 till noon. And you can check out his outstanding newsletter, Mastering Probability, right on the homepage of TFNN.com. Folks, you scroll down to under featured content, you'll see Mastering Probability by our man, Steve Rhodes. You can sign up, whether it's a month at 149, you can save 22% if you go to the six month at 695. You can save over 593 bucks or 33% on the year. I encourage you to check them out. They all come with a 30 day money back guarantee. And folks, as I was getting ready to talk to Steve right now, when you sign up, you have a plethora of these webinars that he's put together, okay? And I mean, I'm not sure, I think there's almost 10 in here, just going through the ultimate trading singles. These, this is the subscriber section, folks, that you can get in if you check it out. These are all available. The ultimate trading signals, Japanese candlesticks, the oscillator unchanged line, the ultimate reversal patterns, how to spot and avoid the next bear market, overcoming fear in trading and investing, mastering the TD setup nine count. Um, amazing. I could just keep going, but we're going to talk to our man, Steve. So check out Mastering Probability. How about those webinars, Steve, man? You got quite a selection there. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Uh, yeah, there is a good selection there. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, to help people to like, like, well, look, we're all about education, right? educating everybody that's here the cool thing about the den is you've got everybody contributing in there as well uh giving ideas and so forth so it's a great set of tools uh that i that that i've developed out there and and i'd love to uh, teach uh teach teach someone uh how to be able to interpret the message of the markets which is what we're going to do uh today but before i get started out there i mean how about the grand prix of st petersburg i tried ah, right? yesterday I turned to TV yesterday, I had no idea. I'm watching the car race, and all, next thing I know, they say they're coming from St. Petersburg. I was looking for your dad's you know, name on the leaderboard. <laughs> you know, Steve, I'll get I'll get a picture up. So Friday, folks, my dad couldn't do the program, and shame on us, we were down watching the practice runs of the cool. Grand Prix with Tommy. So my dad, me, Tommy uh -huh. are down there. And um, what was cool was is that they do the practice, of course, on Friday, just like F1. They do qualifying on Saturday, right? And then they do the race on Sunday. And so they had the practice runs. It was just cool enough with Tommy especially down there because, boy, it was a madhouse on Friday. So I can only imagine what that place was like on Sunday when the big race was going on. But pretty amazing yeah, they bring that to St. Pete, right? Pretty, yeah. It was awesome, Steve. You'll have oh, to come very, down and check cool. it out some. And it's very like cool. a block from our office. We parked at the office and walked down. How oh, amazing. Oh, that's very cool. cool. And, then, and then next thing you know, last night I turned on uh, the Golf Channel for some reason, and they're rebroadcasting the women's tournament from Clearwater. So you guys okay. had a busy weekend yes. on that side of the course. On that side We're in of a the, lucky uh, spot, for sure. Yeah, so talk to me. How about this market, man? Well, last week your dad and I talked about gold. So I wanted to just simply first just give an update on that. And what nice. we had talked I was listening about, to that. I was listening to that interview. Go for it. Perfect. Perfect. So we had talked about the possibility that gold made a major bottom. And so I just simply wanted to update all of our tigers on the current awesome. patterns that are out there. And uh, so if we take a look at during the last 10 months, and this is the daily time frame chart for gold, gold has generated nine TD9 count patterns out there. Now, you mentioned the, uh, the, the different uh, videos that I've got, educational videos. One of them is about the TD9 count pattern. And this is something that's very easy to, uh, to learn and to identify. And I really recommend that people understand this pattern. When we take a look at this chart, you'll really try to under, you'll really understand why. So during the last 10 months, we've had nine TD9 count patterns. Two have failed. Those are the ones, Tommy, that I have in red out here. Okay. And seven have worked. So we've got a 78% uh, ratio at this stage here and uh, of, of success. So, uh, so we have another TD9 count top that's going to go ahead and complete today. So today's pattern is going to be uh, number 10 in the succession, and that's the upper right-hand green arrow that we've got out there. Okay. So uh, the question is, what would be success here? Success is when we get a top, is price pulling back to test support. We take a look at this daily time frame chart, Tommy. The only level of support that I have right now would be at 2126. So 2126 becomes the area. And the reason I have to say area is because that number, that line is going to go up and down as price moves up and down. But people can use that right now as a potential price target on a pullback. And that would be a pretty decent move. It would be a 60 point move out there. Not unusual for something that gold could do. So just be aware that today is going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count top. Now, this set of charts shows gold's daily, weekly, and monthly horizontal trading ranges. So Bud Rolfs, as you know, he had developed the primary trading range boundary lines. Um, I went ahead and Tommy and I took his, uh, uh, his tools and automated it. And uh, so all these things out here, what they're looking for, what these lines represent, folks, is they represent the largest number of 
co-located opens or closes. So it doesn't matter whether it's an open of a daily time frame or weekly or monthly or a close. What we're looking for is how many times does price close uh, at or near that level out there. And then once we have the distance of one of those where we get the largest congestion, we just simply add that same distance up top and down below. And they typically add as uh, key levels of support or resistance. So if we look at the monthly time frame chart, the left-hand panel chart, this shows that we're above a horizontal trading range. So on a pullback, old resistance should become new support. So on top of the 2163-ish, or I forget the, num the number that I, that I gave on the- on 2126, 2126 was that first, Perfect. yeah. Perfect, thank you. So we've got also 2108 to consider on a monthly basis, 2036 on a weekly basis, and then 2163 on the daily time frame. Folks, we're just taking a look at price pulling back to different support, potential different support levels out there, and that's really key. So if gold is going to top, though, the question really is, what's the U.S. dollar index going to do? And the reason that we ask that question is because, Tommy, the bottom panel that I have down here, this takes a look at a three-day correlation. The top panel is gold, center panel is the dollar, and the bottom panel calculates whether there's a directional correlation on average over the last three trading sessions. Well, when the bars are below zero, it tells us we have an inverse uh, relationship. So what's the U.S. dollar it doing? Well, the U.S. dollar index is formed in A to B equals CD to the downside. This, uh, by the way, Tommy, this snapshot was taken maybe about an hour or two ago. And so I don't okay. know where we're, where we're at right now with the U.S. dollar index. But if we were to generate... I think it's 102.85. Was... Yeah, pretty close, right? Yeah. Okay. So if this were to generate a bullish reversal candle, we would have a Gartley buy pattern. And that would suggest that the dollar is going to rally. That would make sense with, the, uh, with gold giving us a TD9 count pattern and pulling back. So we don't have that, uh, that bullish reversal candle just yet, but if we take a look at what's really going on here, what I see, and it's very subtle, but we have a higher high and a higher low. So we could see, even if we don't get that bullish reversal candle, it wouldn't be unusual to see the U.S. dollar index to rally up towards the 103.22 level. So we want to keep an eye on that. And if I take a look at the intraday charts for the U.S. dollar index, several of these have roads mint indicator patterns it's a very cool pattern it's one of the uh, workshops that's included for subscribers out there and that's what you anticipate when a daily time frame is going to form a bottom you like to see intraday time periods uh, confirm that signal now we haven't seen the u.s dollar break out above any res key resistance levels out there but at least it's given us that signal uh, that it is attempting to form that bottom pattern out there of course, we want to keep our eye on the underlying currency pairs uh, so that make up the U.S. dollar index, the euro, the yen, the pound, and the aluni, which, by the way, we're at new all-time highs today. If we take a look at how the GLD is traded in terms of British pounds, in terms of uh, euros, and in terms of Australian dollars out there. So the last thing that I'd share with you with regard to gold is just that, that we're at new all-time highs today in those currencies. And, if this, and that would be the one key thing, Tommy, that could stop gold from pulling back because those folks are buyers they're not sellers sure and we're not that far away from the all-time highs in terms of yen uh, out there and, and and we made that new all-time high on friday when we take a look at gld pretty so cool man you know i appreciate it i was listening when you were on my dad last week man you know my ear the gold is on quite a run and what was cool was you said 21 26 i put the 382 up there steve of just this run it's had since february 14th yes. about 21 25 is the 382 pullback Right there. And that wouldn't be crazy it. at all, right? So, yeah, who knows? Exactly. Steve, yeah. thanks so much, man. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Folks, check it, folks, check it out. Uh, listen to it tomorrow. Steve, thanks so much. Have a great one, man. You too. Take care. You might think that if you want to be 